book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rechah Double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who are learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from, through the Holy Spirit. Honors to you brothers that are preaching the gospel of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity, diligence, and truth. Peace, grace, and blessings be upon House of David, which is the elect. So I um, came across this um, video. Actually, let me see if I can actually pull the video up. I'm not going to play the video on here. I'm actually going to go straight to um, straight to it. But this video, I've seen... Six online and pick it up at the new Google store in Williamsburg. Get in-person help with questions about... So this video I've seen on this channel, A Time for Judgment, um, the title of the, of the video is Warning. It's about, it's all about getting technology in inside of your body. Okay. And um, what this uh, guy, he uh, basically presented a, um, a Instagram video from the World Economic Forum, as you can see in the top right. Okay. Um, that they're pushing out this um, device that is a stamp size sticker that that can see inside of your body all right and we know ultimately that according to the scriptures what john the revelator saw when he was on the isle of patmos the vision that yahweh Shah gave him was a, a device all right or a um you know a a, 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 a an incision inside of the flesh inside of your body all right that this beast is going to um require in order to buy and sell all right so everything that we're seeing now happening in the world you know on a global uh, scale whether it be because of uh, of health all right whether it be in the avenue of uh you know digital currency buying and selling everything is moving toward uh technology being inside of your body all right and being and and and, and being able to be tracked all right and tracked by who the the wicked rulers of the leaders of the the wicked rulers of the darkness of this world all right as you had uh, that guy Klaus schwab said um at the world economic uh, forum in davos back in um may that um they have the the power to uh uh shape the future according to what they want it to look like all right and he wasn't he wasn't speaking about humanity as a whole he was speaking to the people that was in, you know, uh, inside of that uh, building, which um, ultimately are the what he called the stakeholders of the world. All right. And when you go into what a stakeholder is, it's basically some the, the, the people, a group, a board, a right of, of individuals that own a organization or a company or, you know, uh, or et cetera. So when you look at the, uh, the way that these devils look at the world, they believe that they have ownership of the world and to a certain extent they are correct because when you go to the book of job um chapter 9 verse 24 it reads the earth is given into the hand of the wicked he covereth the faces of the judges thereof if not where and who is he okay so the ones who are uh, um who are the wicked According to the scriptures, the man of sin, the son of perdition, is Esau Edom, as the scripture tells us that Esau is the end of the world. So these devils at this at this moment, they have uh, 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 through the blessing of their sword, they have control over the earth and they want to maintain that control. All right. And they want to get to a God, uh, God like level, which is a uh, which is the promise that the heavenly father gave to the children of Israel. All right. That promise was given to the children of Israel, which is going to come into fruition through Yahweh Shai. All right. The 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 uh, the uh, uh, king of kings, Lord of lords. And through Yahweh Shai, we all. All right. All of the elect. All right. All of Israel, I should say, starting with the elect are going to reign on the earth as gods and kings. All right. They have dominion. But these devils, <laughs> they're not going to have the, they're not going to let that happen, you know, without a fight which is, you know, really what the Lord has put into their minds to do. So they want to maintain their power. They want to maintain 
uh, uh, um, their authority and they believe they have this enterprise. Let's get that. Um, what is that? Job, the fifth chapter. They have this enterprise that they're trying to complete. Job 5 verse 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. You see? So that, that enterprise is those is those uh, 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 iniquities that they think upon their bed, all right? Those devices that they come up with, you know, uh, um, in their labs, all right? In their in their uh, uh, closed door meetings, all right? In their by their by their councils, by their enchantments, by their sorcerers, all right? Their their witches and warlocks, because this world is all you know. Uh, uh, the 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 way that this world is set up right now, <laughs> it's an illusion. All right, where the only ones who really can see are the elect of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and the uh, uh, the elites of this world. Okay, because they're the ones that's doing the blinding of the masses of the people. They understand. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly the the operations that they're trying to push out. All right, the distractions that they're pushing out so that they can continue uh, uh, um, forward with their ultimate agenda, but. The Lord has given us the the, the Islav, all right, given us the wisdom, the knowledge, and understanding, so that we can see outside of the matrix. Okay, so now let me play this from here. This is from um, like I said, the World Economic Forum post on Instagram. And we'll just play this, and as you can see, this is the uh, the 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 path that you know all roads lead to. You know, you got those tattoos. Now they got this ultrasound scan that they can basically see with inside of your body. And then ultimately, they're going to move this from being something that's on top of you, on top of your skin, to something that's inside of your skin. monitor continuously monitor track you and scan you because they want once again would you wear an ultrasound patch you see because once again they want to be like the most high they want to have be omnipresent right they want to have a, a, a be able to be all seeing you see and they present it as a uh, in a way that makes it seem like it's beneficial as paul spoke about and um See the first Corinthians or second Corinthians, let's see. Alright, second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter eleven, verse fourteen, it says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Okay? And we know that according to Second Thessalonians chapter two. Right, second Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse nine. It says, "Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan." So Satan has the the ability to be to to, to deceive, right? That's uh, the devil, and the devil <laughs> and and the man of sin comes after the working of Satan. Comes as it says, "This man will come to do the work of Satan." Okay, he comes in the energy of Satan. With all power, signs, and lying wonders, false, uh, false miracles, pseudo, pseudo uh, uh, wonders, and this right here, that little device that's able to track your organs and be able to see to see how your heart changes while you're doing workouts and the the micro damage to your to your muscles when you're you know exercising, etc. All of those things are a uh, a, a lying wonder, 
All right. All those things are are, are false miracles that this devil is, is going to use to deceive many. Because they look at this at this as something that is so great, so so enlightening. OK, and that's why the scripture says calls him Lucifer. All right. Light bearer. But his light is really is really a uh, 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 um, darkness. All right. He just has the ability to perceive it or to portray it as as being a good light, as being, you know, beneficial. But as the scripture tells you in Isaiah, the eighth chapter, if they speak not to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because that there is no light in them. All right. But the only ones who really can truly see that are the ones who have the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the true light. You see, so um, not to make, like I said, not to make this too long. I just want to show this because this is where everything is going, going towards, you know, and it's all about technology and they're going to come with the, uh, uh, the angle of healthcare and the, the angle of quick and convenience, you know, when it, when it comes to, you know, the marketplace, et cetera, et cetera, all these things that we should know, you all right? You should know these things. And we in a time where this, this, uh, uh, information is out there. So you can't say that you didn't have, you wasn't aware. You only can say that you chose not to to uh, uh, listen. You chose not to take heed. All right. So and that's why in Second Thessalonians it tells you that going back, it says um, and uh, verse 10 and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And for this cause, the most high shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. And you have a lot of people, a lot of our people that have pleasure in unrighteousness. They have pleasure in the ways of, of this world, which are the ways of the devil. OK, so they're going to believe this these strong delusion. They're going to believe that, oh, you know, it's, it's good that I'm able to track, you know, myself. And that's all. You know, people that, that that get to that point where they want to track each and every, <laughs> like how the guy said in that, in that uh, video that I was watching on YouTube, he was like, people have come so so self-absorbed, which let me pull that up is is prophecy that they're that they're trying to track steps. I mean, steps you take. They they're, they're trying to track each milligram of of calorie or, or sugar to intake. Okay, you know the scripture tells you that you know uh, health. And wealth, you know, is uh, is above all things, you know, is good, but not to the point where you become uh, obsessed with with yourself. You become obsessed with that that type of um, uh, uh, narcissism, okay. And that really goes, that really takes away, you know, from you being uh, 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 mindful of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which you know, in the majority of this world, they don't. <laughs> They're not thinking about the fear of the Lord, man. All they're thinking about is themselves. As the scripture says here, verse uh, 2 Tim Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetousness, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, all right, fear say, and that incontinent goes into what? Having no self control. That is very, very big in this generation, man. People have no self control, no discipline. All right, all they, all, as, as it says, that their God is their belly. So all they want to do is just fulfill the lust of their flesh. It says, fierce despisers of those that are good. All right, the ones who promote the, the you know, uh, the, the, the standard, the, mor the moral of. The Bible, the Holy Scriptures, which the Scriptures tells you that if you if you do these things, you shall live. All right, the ones who hate evil and love good, all right, we get we get uh, uh, um, hated. Okay, and when the Scripture says love the good and hate the evil, but in this world you get hated for loving good and hating evil. But that's how you know that we are living in you know the the worst times, man. We're living in uh uh. uh the most wicked and sinful uh, generation, as Jehovah Shai said. Okay, it says traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Okay, so 
um you know this is once again just want to bring this out showing you what time this is the times and the seasons that we're in that is devil's moving full force with this uh type of um you know he's moving full force with with this technology so you know just want to bring that out lord willing this is edifying unto the elect giving all praises on and glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakakwadash stay watching stay praying till next time shalom